All right, so for bid, here's my 2011 uh, Ducati Diablo Carbon Red Edition. I bought this bike new in 2012. We still had a couple of 2011s on the showroom floor, so I was able to, there wasn't any difference between it and the 12, and I got a bit of a deal, which was helpful. Uh, yeah. So this bike is flawless. It's exactly in the same shape as when I picked it up. It's only got a thousand, just over a thousand miles on it. I think it's a thousand twenty-six. I'll check in a second. But it's brand new, uh, effectively. And I got, uh, I had five motorcycles. I've sold, uh, I had another Ducati, an older ST4S. I've sold a ZX14 uh, Kawasaki, and I sold a Road King Classic as well. So I'm down to these two bikes. I'm kind of paring the collection down. Uh, the only two modifications I've made, if you want to call them that, is I added this uh, Ducati tank guard there just to keep the scratches off the paint. And I've also added the, the uh, frame hole plugs. Um, again, Ducati. There's uh, four or five or four of them on each side, I guess. And that's it. The rest of the bike is bone stock. Um, it uses the keyless fob. It's sitting right there. You just keep it in your pocket or whatever. Um, you see the switch is down guarding the starter switch it's underneath and the way it works is you just hold it down and then this thing will happen and it draws a picture of itself which I always thought was kind of cool you can see that and it's got an up, uh, upper and lower display uh, this bike's pretty cool it's got 162 horsepower available and you can just with the push of this button here you can toggle it to what you want. So it pops up riding mode. You can go urban, which drops it down to 100 only, which is awesome for if, it's, if you get caught in the wet or whatever. Uh, you can go to sport, which gives you 162 horsepower as fast and as hard as it can. It doesn't throttle. I mean, when you bring the throttle, it brings the it brings the juice. And then the touring mode, which still has 162 horsepower, but it's got a little bit more gentle um, delivery with the power. And it's, it's usually what I ride around in it, honestly. And you just hold the button down, and it'll pick the one you want. And there it is, and it'll tell you in touring. It also tell you, like in this case, it says 03 and, and for uh, the traction control, and and the ABS is also at a, a medium setting. You can customize those to go anywhere you want from almost, or actually to no ABS and no traction control. If you want to ride it in sport mode and get around the track, or you can set it to be as aggressive as you like, and you have those three settings uh, as well. I'll go ahead and uh, show you this. It's cold. I just rolled it out of the garage. It's not hot at all. Started it yet today. Go ahead and fire it up. You can hear it run. Oop, accidentally killed it off. Bring it back. You can see it draw itself again. I think that's pretty slick. Okay, then we'll throttle it up. Once you shut the bike off, this is cool. You can turn the wheel in either direction uh, to lock it. So I'll bring it to the right, which is not the normal position to lock a bike, but it works if you need it to. Push the button down. It'll tell you it's waiting for the lock. And then you just hold the button until it locks. There you go. It's locked out. Awesome. And again, it's keyless fob. Uh, in case that thing ever quits on you, the battery dies or whatever, there's also a push button here with the code system so you can you can get it to start up and run without it. Key fob also works like a switchblade. Hit that, the key comes out, the keys for the gas tank, and also will release this back seat. You can see the carbon fiber with the match paint um, cowl that's on the back, but when you take the seat off, that's a real simple, I think, two screws, and that'll pop right off if you want to put a passenger on. And then the rear foot pegs hide away to where you can't even see them, which I always thought was a cool feature too. So, there you go. Brand new bike. Uh, it just happens to be uh, a 2011 model. 1,000 miles on it. Like I said, latest service. I just had them redo the 1,000 mile service last spring. Didn't ride it. I put those 26 miles on it right basically and then it went into storage. So it hasn't been ridden much since then. And There's the primary reason I'm selling it. So good luck to you. Good bidding. And uh, hope you win it. It's an awesome ride.